All right, I've got a couple minutes before I go get the kids from school. So I'm gonna show you this Baby Buddha pump in comparison to a couple of other handheld pumps. I've had some requests on this from the Facebook group. So here we go. First, I'm gonna start with the Pumpables Genie Advanced. So this is the smaller one from Pumpables. So first off, you can see an obvious size difference. So this one is actually about twice the size of this. Um, it's also heavier. Not like a lot, but what you'd think. Um, as far as functionality, I really love that the Baby Buddha has a lanyard because it makes it really easy to put it like this. And then you can either use a hands-free pumping bra or cups and it's all hands-free, which is really nice. This Pumpables one does um, also has a, a lanyard though, which is really cool. It also has a clip. So you can actually like clip that on your pants. My uh, postpartum leggings go all the way up. So <laughs> that's a little trickier, um, but you can clip that on there. I love these leggings, by the way. They have like compression on the belly. I think they're called Prego leggings, but there's a link in my bio. Anyway. Um, so you could do that too, especially on like jeans or whatever you could hook it there. Um, okay, so I did some tests on the pumpable a couple days ago and I was getting a max suction of about 260 or so on the pumpables, which is awesome. It was a little bit lower whenever I used their liquid, um, liquid shield, is that what it's called? Liquid shield kit, which is like this special design you can see. There's another IGTV video on this system if you want. The max section was a little bit lower when I used that, but still an awesome range. Um, not many people pump on max section, so don't let that freak you out, but just kind of so you know. The Baby Buddha has crazy high max section. Oh, I think it was like over 300, something like that. Uh, yeah, over 300. So it is has really strong suction. It also has a really high... Um, minimum suction. So if you are sensitive at all, or if you're worried about um, being sensitive or wanting to pump on really low levels, I would not recommend this pump. This pump has a ton of suction. And there's a video on my YouTube channel like all about suction. And that, I talked about the Baby Buddha, there's a timestamp for it. And you'll see kind of what the pattern of that pump looks like. It's very unique and it has a lot of suction even on the lower settings anyway so if you want more information on the suction pattern on that one uh, you can go watch that video on the youtube channel okay um as far as other things go you can use both of these um on a battery obviously because they're portable pumps and they um this one has if i remember right it has a little bit more this one has a little bit more settings that you can do. So if you like the ability to customize it a little bit, this one has a few more options for you. Um, this one also has, you can see the little P on there, means that you can program stuff. So you can program specific settings. Um, actually, did this one have an app with it too? I can't remember if that was just the big pumpables that had an app. I created some like pump settings. Uh, anyway, it's kind of cool or programs that you could use. But, um, okay, so you've got the suction. It does have a nice low-end suction, so that's nice. And then it goes up to 10. Again, about 260 was the max I could get on this. So the Baby Buddha definitely has more stronger suction on the high end, if that's something you need. So this is stimulation mode, and it actually had 10 vacuum levels on stimulation mode. So that's a lot of options for you there. Also has 10 vacuum levels on expression mode. And then you have three, sorry, doing this all backwards. <laughs> three different cycle settings that you can do on expression mode. And the cycle settings, again, we talked about in that video is the cycles per minute. So the more cycles per minute you have, um, they usually have a lot of cycles per minute in the letdown mode, the stimulation mode, the first one, because it's similar to what a baby does. So you can hear that has a lot more, it's faster. And then when you switch over into expression mode, um, you can go faster or lower. So 
it's a slower cycle speed so there you go nothing too uh, fancy crazy there but a really standard pump a little bit bulky but um, otherwise fine the baby Buddha is pretty slick to use though and it's blinking at me that it doesn't have enough power to turn on so that stinks but um, it has it's very simple to use and it just doesn't ha it doesn't have a ton of features but that doesn't really matter so you have this power on button and then you have this like roller dial I wish you could feel that because it's really fun <laughs> just kind of rolls around so you can also click it and this will so this will control the vacuum level. You can roll it up or you can roll it down. And then you just click it once to go into stimulation mode and then again into expression. So very, very easy. This pump is really light and works really great. It also has shorter tubing, which is kind of cool. And if you only want to do one side, you can just use it like this. Some of the other pumps I've seen, this tubing is also attached and you have to like hook it back in to loop it, which is annoying. I mean, most people aren't single pumping very often, um, but this one has a little gauge on the back. So if you want to double pump, you put it in the middle. If you want to pump that side, you put it over there. If you don't want to do that side, you put it over there. Okay. This tubing is really interchangeable. So it does have this little thing that goes to the parts. But you can just, oh, sorry, the alarm went off, said go pick up the kids, so I <laughs> better run. But anyway, you can just take this off and then it's really like an interchangeable tubing. You can hook that to whatever you want. All the cups it will work with, Freemi, Legendary Milk, Spectra, Mom Cozy, all that stuff. You can also use it with this liquid phalange system if you want because this, so this is the pumpables kind of system. It comes with really standard tubing as well. So. When you get your pump, you want the Baby Buddha, but you want the liquid flange or liquid shield kit, you can just attach the tubing on to the Baby Buddha, whatever you want. Okay, I hope that helps just with a quick rundown of those two pumps. Both great options. It just kind of depends on what you like and what you're looking for. So there's links and discount codes to both of those pumps in my bio. So you can use those links and support the channel and then you also get discount codes, which is cool. I like to sign up for affiliate programs with companies because they usually send me codes that I can give to you guys. So then that's also how I make money and run my business and keep buying breast pumps to try <laughs> for you guys. So go check out all those links that are over there for you. And if you have any other questions, you can post them here or in our Facebook group. Facebook group. See you guys.